Toyota refers to the hybrid control ECU as the HV control ECU sometimes. Sometimes you'll be looking through some information and it'll be talking about the HV control ECU and they really mean the hybrid control ECU. This confuses me a lot because when I see the words HV control ECU I tend to think as the battery control ECU high voltage but no Toyota is referring to the HV and the hybrid control ECUs in the same context the hybrid control ECU is the central control ECU it handles torque requests to the internal combustion engine the torque from the electric traction motors and it's going to manage the ratio of braking between the electronic brake ECU and the negative torque from the traction motors for regenerative braking some inputs are hardwired they're connected directly to the hybrid control ECU while others are connected by the CAN bus and this block diagram shows us that we have a hybrid control ECU and these other ECUs are hardwired directly to the hybrid control ECU as is the data link connector. Now in this drawing we're showing you that an input into the HV or the hybrid control ECU can come via the CAN bus also. It doesn't have to be hardwired. In fact, there are many things that are not hardwired and it comes via the CAN communication. The hybrid control ECU manages the inverter and the converter directly. It manages this assembly directly. Now when we look at this, we see the converter inverter assembly was moved to the right and we have a skeleton, if you will, uh, an x-ray showing inside the inverter-converter assembly. The hybrid control ECU manages the inverter and the converter directly, and that means it has capacitor modules. And there is a picture of the capacitor modules with the cover off. It controls the high voltage contactors, sometimes called the system main relays, and we call them the system relays all the time. It's going to have the IGBT packs in them for boost control and motor control. And that's what it looks like on the inside. It doesn't do much for me to look at them, but when I study IGB motor control and IGB boost control in uh, the class hybrid operation diagnostics I get a concept of how this all works together. The hybrid control ECU controls the boost converter itself. So what we have is a high voltage battery pack of around 201 volts. If we run that voltage through a boost converter we boost that to 650 volts and that's what the boost converter does. The hybrid control ECU controls the DC to DC converter which charges the 12 volt battery. These hybrids do not have an alternator on them. The DC to DC converter acts like the alternator converting the high voltage from the high voltage battery pack to 12 volts to charge the system. And you can see that it also has cooling. The inverter converter assembly is water cooled. It has its own cooling system and we're showing you that part of the radiator, the lower part of the radiator is designated for the electronic component cooling. The hybrid control ECU has scan data. We can go in with our scan tool and ex access scan data. Now this is very similar to what we've been doing. We've been going and plugging in a scan tool and selecting the vehicle. At some point the scan tool wants to know, do you want to look at the PCM, the brake controller, the gem module? So yes, in a hybrid we're going to ask to look at the hybrid controller. And some of the scan data will show up as this. And once again, a disclaimer to say we can't cover all of the scan data. 
that comes out of a hybrid ECU. The manual does that. We can't do that in a class, but we got some examples here. You know, the Excel position one, the main accelerator position in degrees of rotation must follow the movement of accelerator pedal and is derived from the APP1 sensor. All right, then it has Excel 2. The MG2 inverter temperature, this is a very important scan data data bit. Uh, motor generator 2, inverter temperature that has a typical range of 77 to 176 degrees Fahrenheit. If you get a code for a uh, motor generator too high, temperature too high, you can come to this PID and, and look and see exactly what's being measured. And of course, when we say typical, that means with vehicle operation being normal. That doesn't mean it's set out in a Midwest winter uh, snowstorm all night long. The shift sensor selection. Uh, now, when we talked about placing a hybrid in gear, we talked about the scan data that we can see from the gear selector. And you're going to see that in the hybrid ECU. Now, the shift selector position is also comes from the hybrid ECU, meaning that did you select neutral, reverse, or brake? The shift sensor main. And that's the vertical movement for the gear selector sensors. The uh, shift sensor sub. And that's the sub shift sensor for vertical movement. So use diagnostic codes and scan data to get a diagnostic direction. We have an example here, a mobilizer malfunction. So we get a page out of our manual. It gives us our information code. The B2799 says, hey, there's something wrong with the security system. Go find it. And then we look at the information code 101, and it tells us more specific information. Once again, if your scan tool allows you to get the three-digit codes, the information codes, go for it. Now, this says that there is no input signal from FCVC. Look down at the drawing, and you can see that the FCVC... Uh, is at the hybrid control ECU, and the HEVC signal is at the transponder key ECU or computer. Now, they're saying it was not received by the hybrid controller, and it comes from the transponder key computer. The communication ID may be wrong. Check the wiring between the key computer, and then you may need to do key, key fob, or ECU registration in order to get this signal back. So using diagnostic trouble codes and information codes, when they apply to the hybrid controller, sends you to an individual circuit to be tested. When we look at another example, it's 3005. High voltage fuse seems to be open. It appears to be open check for a short circuit condition and then look at the wiring for an open or short in this example we show you a perfectly good fuse that's been corroded so much that it makes such a bad contact that it appears to be open when you're dealing with the hybrid controller it has functions. It is the overseer of all of the other ECUs. So when you're diagnosing it, scan data and diagnostic trouble codes will yield you an answer every time.